Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Dennis Manitenga. I'm a freshman at North High. <laughs> And uh, my piece is called, May I Ask Something? The more I try to understand the timeline, the more that I come to the conclusion that I understand nothing. So I have a couple of questions that I want to ask. May I ask something? May I ask, why does the timeline look so wonderful, yet so terrible? The conquerors that build colonies and escape persecution, the Puritans. The terrible diseases they fought as a welcoming sign. The boat they traveled on as a freedom sign. Upon their arrival, they saw hopeless, strange, sinful faces. Redskins. Oh no, God is living his people. Your parents didn't stand your soul perfect because you're masquerading your faces with teachings of venal light and personal testimonies and holy behavior. You build your pure colonies on the bones that are laying over. You establish a nice chapel to see visions which you are claiming from the God that gave Jacob the name Israel. The knowledge you claim to have was the ignorance barrier that made you superior. You spit in the faces of the landlords. You made them your own slaves. A why? See, I guess it's all mixed emotions for me. So may I ask something? Why does the timeline look so wonderful, yet so terrible? Let America be a beautiful country built on the roots of Christianity. Let America have the same message that God gave Moses. Build a court justice system that people want to settle disputes shall do it peacefully. But your court systems was corrupted, but the doctrine separate but equal. You didn't see brown skin figures that were see sick due to the bull ride that screamed, slavery is upon us. The knowledge you came to have was the ignorant barrier that made you superior. You spit in the faces of my grandfathers, denied the right to buy freedom in a slave-free state. So I guess it's only mixed emotions for me. May I ask something? Why does the timeline look so wonderful and terrible at the same time? We sang beautifully with suffering message, but he suffered our message. You will hear a lost soul fighting for self-esteem, massaging, massaging guns, and selling poison to people. So now it is just, uh, it is just now us young boys barely spreading a peach fuzz, but climbing the number one hip-hop chart, dropping out of school because acting hard in front of that camera really does sell. I mean, look at the statistics. So I guess the knowledge we claim to have was the ignorant barrier that made us superior.